There's a partnership of companies called LANS, Los Alamos National Security. And when they took over management of the lab, they said, we're going to invest a million dollars a year in education. Education is the most important and the toughest grand challenge that our state is facing today. And um, I think we're fortunate here at Los Alamos Labs to, to get to be a part of helping the state of New Mexico, uh, teachers, school administrators, legislators, all the way to the governor, help find solutions. Part of helping find those solutions is finding out what works. And I think that's something good that Los Alamos Labs is very, very good at. I think there really are, are three reasons why education matters so much for us here in Northern New Mexico and for us here at the lab. Uh, the first and, and maybe the most obvious reason is that a substantial part of our workforce is drawn from, from the area here in Northern New Mexico. And so people growing up in the area, if, if we're able to draw on their ability uh, good quality education prepares them for work here at the laboratory. I think the second reason has to do with attracting people to, the, to come to the region. We draw people from all over the world to work here at the laboratory. And one of the things that matters to the people who work here is that their children will be able to, to get a good education. Uh, the third reason is I think it's a good thing to do for the community. It's the right thing to do. And in that regard, I very much appreciate the fact that NNSA, through the contract, makes it possible for the lab to, to make these kinds of investments. The focus of the programs here at Santa Fe Community College are developing uh, people for the jobs of the future and with a heavy focus on sustainability. So we've created our Trades and Advanced Technology Center, which is the home of our Sustainable Technology Center, to train people for the green jobs. We're heavily focused on science, technology, engineering, and math, science-related fields, but as they hook back to the trades. About 15 years ago, I heard about a, a project called the Advanced Technology Centers. LANL was a part of that dream. There were folks who worked at LANL at that time who said, this is an interesting thing for high-tech training, high-skill, high-wage jobs for northern New Mexico. In talking to the employers in the area, the sustainability and renewable energies came to the forefront as an important theme and we asked whether or not there were really green jobs out there and people said, yes, there are. And we said, are we a little bit too much ahead of the game? And they said, no, we need these people yesterday. We really couldn't have started this program without the land's funding. The college isn't funded for startup. We're funded really more for maintenance. So we were looking at how can we get support to hire the director and get the program started. With the support from LANS, we've been able to develop uh, six certificate programs and further develop a degree program in environmental technologies. Uh, the funds have been used so far mostly to help us coordinate and put things together, uh, but this year they've been used to heavily support the biofuels program. Well, the biofuels program is a two-semester course. It's a certificate program, and what we do in this program is we examine the social, political, economic impacts of petroleum on our culture and our way of life and we explore alternatives to petroleum. We, for example, learn how to make biodiesel from restaurant oil. We make uh, ethanol from various waste products that we garner around the city of Santa Fe. We also learn about hydrogen and natural gas and fuel cells, and we also explore in depth algae. And from the algae, of course, we can make fuel, we can make nutraceuticals, we can make plastics from it. Algae can do anything petroleum could do, except we're growing algae in real time. We're not waiting 100 million years to use it. So we have built a building to house those programs, to be very flexible, but the building itself is a symbol of sustainability. It's very green in its own nature. Everything in this building is exposed. The roof is a class roof. The students are up there working. The whole building is part of the educational uh, process. It's in the curriculum. What I envision is that we keep changing with the times and evolving and growing and we're very flexible in that in that building and in those resources. You know, who knows? Eventually we may get into biotechnology training or manufacturing and we want to be able to address the economic needs and the workforce needs of the region and, and contribute to economic development.